everyone, welcome to the Redman TV. Things are heating up in the Champions League. Liverpool taking on Spartak Moscow. Chris Pajak, a place in the last 16, beckons, it calls, it keeps us awake at night. Does it? Um, it's not my kids. They are probably kids. Maybe right? they know. Um, yeah, look, massive. This is where we this is where we want to be. Bit of a setback in, in the last game, of course, it would have been nice to have. Qualification assured by now. Of course it was. Course. That goes we are also saying. Liverpool. Yeah, so it's a bit of drama. Never went a miss. It'd be nice to do this game though with 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 no drama. Three points. Three points. Start thinking about the draw. Six goals. Something like that would be lovely. Um, six early goals. Sure. I know we've just done a, a whole segment in the, in the <laughs> final word show about how it doesn't really matter, but six early goals would do me in this one. Mm. Um, now listen, this is. And it's not something I normally say, it's something you normally say. The most important game of the season so far. Yeah. This is this is what it's all about, isn't it? This is why we're in this competition, because we want to get into the last 16 and we want to sort of see where we can go from there. But, you know, ultimately, it's at Anfield. We've got everything in our own hands. We can go out there. We're in good form. Um, we can put a strong side out. Um, I'm really, really excited for this game. I think this is, this is what we're in for, isn't it? John, you know, don't get me wrong. Again, qualification assured would have been much better because there's a derby looming at the weekend. You know, no matter what the form guide and all that says, and it's going to be that's going to be an intense encounter. So look, it would have been nice to have this be a bit of a dead rubber, but also a big, meaningful European game. And I feel we saw that with the Hoffenheim second leg. What you know? What a great, what a great game that was, and this is what it's all about. This is what we're, what what we're in it for is to play games that matter in December, as opposed to having <laughs> to wait, you know, to, to the end of the season for for things. And Liverpool want to meet their season objectives. They want to be considered back amongst the top, you know, echelons of European football. Then it's go to Anfield, get the business done. They're the best night out. Even there's something to play for, and I think like, you know. I know it's, it's in terms of like you know from the outside it's, it's a bad week in that you know it's that you say it's two big games but it's also if you're a fan it's one of the best weeks isn't it because you, you, you know you go and know what it means something and you yeah. go and the atmosphere is going to be great and stuff you know before kick off and you know all that type of stuff and I think you know we've probably done it you know not in the way we wanted to certainly with the severe game <laughs> in recent memory but also when you look at it in terms of like what's happened to Spurs in the league since they qualified you know they've gone completely the other way whereas we've actually got better and better yeah. so. I'd, you know, I'd, t I'd take us challenging on both fronts as opposed to just being great in one than the other. I think. But yeah, I think there's a there's a mentality maybe of you know we've been rotating quite well in recent weeks. You could continue that and you know and 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 and, and, exp and we have a reasonable expectation of Liverpool handling this game quite well. Is there a case for you where we think, look, no, let's not. Let's not fuck about with this one. You go and get and, and look, it's a separate conversation. But what does a full strength Liverpool team look mm. like? I guess. Um, but I guess the simplest way of putting that is, you get Salah, Mane, and Firmino on the pitch at the same time, and you go for this and you get this game done because there can be no mar there's, there's no margins for error on this. You know what I mean? Just let let's not let's not tit about. No, I think he's got a. This is this is. You know, I hate I, you hate saying it, but it's like you know the, the derby is a big a big game at the weekend, but like it's it's a league game ultimately. Like in the, in the context of a season, whereas this is like we can't we only get one shot at this, and we can't really mess this up. You know, there's there's no way you know kind of this needs to be the one that we win and that we qualify top of the group, and you know make it count. Like I think the good thing about this, Ross, we, we talked about this on the final way to some extent. This team starting to take things in its stride, and even though it is a it is a big game, I, I trust that they will treat this with the professionalism with which they've treated. Every game, you know, by and large this season, that will go out, we'll, we'll continue to do what we do. They'll they'll be composed, but hopefully, hopefully incisive as well. They won't let any notion of this being a a, a big game get get to them. I guess. No, I was meant to mention that on the final word with the the rotation thing as well. It must be confident confident for other players to know they're going to get game time, and I'm sure they must prepare maybe two three games in advance of what like you mentioned it before when people are going to play. So mentally, people can set themselves up and go. I'm going to be, I'm going to play in Spartak Moscow because they must already know who they're going to, who's going to be playing. Well, there's a point. What the fuck does Spartak Moscow do here? Because in the last what week, look at the players who've played for us. You know, we played Dom Solanke up front a week, a week ago, who was you know hadn't started a Premier League game by that point. All of a sudden, now you go and we, and we've played. Grew's got minutes. Grew's got minutes. We've played in the last three games. We've played three formations. <laughs> 
and we've probably played what eighteen or eighteen different players, maybe because I'm, I, I could have researched that. I haven't, <laughs> um, but we have played a bunch of other players who've got good, solid minutes under the belt mm. and performed as well. Yeah. So you, again, you could drop a Dom Solanke into this game, and no one would bat an eyelid at us doing that. Yeah, and that's the other thing when you do get game time, they're there to prove a point again of going. Maybe I can push myself to get into the next game or, or the game after that or whatever. So having not just fresh legs but a fresh mentality to, to these players is only an advantage. And then, like you said, Brighton weren't expecting that formation of neither were we. So what are Spartak Moscow supposed supposed to do? You can prepare three, four different formations themselves, but ultimately until they get on the pitch, they don't know what, what's going to happen. I, I really enjoy the idea that their strikers watching highlight reels when Aldo more weak thinking how he's going to go up against them at centre-half. this new No, but it is, I mean, again, because that's, that, that's the beauty of where we, what Liverpool have become in, since that Tottenham game, is that we've played not just our 11 into form, we've played an, an additional, let's, you know, throw in Emre Chan, Dom Solanke, Alex Oxley Chamberlain, James Milner. You know, these are guys who could be could quite easily be the twelfth or thirteenth man in a in a in a best Liverpool eleven. And we're at a point now where every single one of those guys is at, at a level where you could reasonably drop them into yeah, this I game. Think, yeah, I think you know, I don't think you meant to say it, but you said let's not fuck around here. Klopp's not been fucking around. That's the point, is that he trusts his players more than fans trust the players. Yeah. And and you can see that, and that's evidenced by the the, the the rotation that he's put in place. So it wouldn't surprise me if he continued to rotate. It wouldn't surprise me if he'd earmark this game for what I would consider a full-strength 11. Um, he will put the players out there that he believes will get the results. And we've seen over the last few weeks that he believes in a lot of these players and a lot of formations, and he believes in the squad more than any fan does. Yeah, absolutely. Um... Mane? Mane, Surely. yes. For me, Salah, no. It's interesting. Well, we'll actually get a little bit, delve a little bit deeper into people's 11s. We're going to be looking at preferred 11s and have a little think about what we think Klopp will actually do as well. That'll be with you in a moment. Before then, the Volley app. Get involved. Here's how. is the world's first dedicated social network for football fans. Sign up for your free Volley account now and follow the Redmen TV. Okay, brilliant. Yeah, do get involved. Do make us the biggest of the fan channels on that platform. I'm deadly serious. Just go to the App Store, get it, sign up. Even if you don't use it, just do it because I can't be having West Ham fan TV be bigger than us on there. That can't be a thing. Make that not a thing. Um, Don't worry. They'll be the biggest championship fan channel on there next season. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't tell Nicky we said that. Um, he's hey, a big Jack body of people. He's a big man. He's a big, <laughs> wonderful man. Um, right, Ross, preferred 11s first. Yep. Tell me why you've gone for... Clavin, right centre-back. Oh, Potato potato, isn't it? Potato. No, <laughs> no, it's not. I'm not in the slightest. No, he's going to wind you to it. You've caught, no, yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> I've done it to wind you guys. It was a humorous jeep on my part. Yeah, so same way it was humorous when you got it on last week. I'm, I'm in Klopp well. one. I've done it the other way round. <laughs> <laughs> Klopp, Klopp did a back three, you know, you question that. I just thought I'd mix it up even more, swap them around. So, is there some tactical insight into how the striker plays that's led to Klopp? Well, because Klopp can, can, can only turn right, can't he? So, that's why he's <laughs> the right. Didn't, more didn't think about that, did you? Opens more of the pitch up yeah. to him. Yeah, yeah. Um, Phil Coutinho, not in your preferred 11. I know. I was between he them was the last. our best player. By a, yeah, a comfortable distance in the last game. that rotation thing, doesn't it? I don't know. Lallana played a couple of minutes the other week, and I think Klopp said he's, he's a little bit off fitness. But I'll, I'd imagine just putting him in there, rest Coutinho, and then you got Coutinho free for the derby. It was, it was either or one of them? I, um, I must admit, I, I don't, I don't know where Lallana's at with regards to his fitness. 
imagine being if we, I mean if we could because we could theoretically just drop him in this, not figure him in the derby, and you could you could potentially rest like two. You could rest like one of Mane and Salah and Coutinho. <laughs> I've been uh, putting Lalana in my preferred 11s and I've left him out in the hope that he, puts he him goes in. in. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, John, you've gone for Danny Ward in goal. <laughs> I still go a bit mad. Why not? Yeah. My preferred. I, I, I get it. it, 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 it Explain we, your reasons behind it. Behind that more than in goal. No, all of it. All of it. I just think it's, it's one of them. I think like, it, there's, there's a few lads there who, you know, like Henderson, you know, who's played most of the season, say, pair of hands type thing. But then I just think there's like, there's lads there who, who you know, you can rest Salah then in the derby and, you know, Put someone else there, but you've got Mane. You know he's 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 come. He's then played two games type thing. Um, I think Salanke probably deserves a start, and I think he's a, if, if you're going to rotate for me now out, you know, uh, well actually going against what I've actually put in the actual team, I think he'll put. But just for me, like yeah. if you're going to rotate him out, Salanke, he's, he's a bit of an handful, isn't he? You can do a bit of everything as opposed to start and storage. And I just think well, why have you switched Mane and Salah? How do you mean? Well, I've got one of the sides. I don't know. <laughs> what is going on with the couch? They just don't know the right it's left, left, right, it's dyslexic it's couch it's though. Like... Over the last couple of weeks, it's incredible. Just, just weird. It, 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 it... Side. Yeah, so, idiots they are. Yeah. The yeah. yeah. Pretty yeah. sure you you put Carries in your one originally, did you? The Champions League goalkeeper. Yeah, well, I noticed the mistake and fixed it before we started recording. Who's the bigger idiot, Ross? We're making entertainment over here, mate. <laughs> 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 the same thing everyone else has done. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We could have ignored I put, it. I put Mignolet in because I want him in goal. Okay. I think he's a better keeper than Carius. Ooh. Simple, really. Don't get him started. Um, I think then I've gone for the pretty much... No, 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 no. Okay, Gomez, Lovren, Clava, Moreno is my back four. Um, I want to see Gomez in sense, but I don't want to see the two of them really young and experienced right hand sides of that back four in, a, in this must win Champions League game so I've gone really settled on the back four Cham because I think he deserves that sixth spot at the moment I think yeah. he's playing much better than Henderson and I think he's also a guest as because he's in that rotation that, that. he's the Champions League midfielder the midweek midfielder as it were and then I've rested Salah quite simply for the F um, mm. I think Ox comes back in for me I'd, I'd release Mane and Firmino just because he's boss yeah I've gone with um I want to see a little bit more of what we saw against Stoke. I'm not sure it's necessarily the the approach of the formation to be playing at Anfield, but I just again Solanke. I think there's I think there's merit now that he's had that taste to giving him another taste to keep him ticking over. And I wonder whether I mean look, none of us has gone for Sturridge even in preferred 11s here. Look, it's not outside the realms that he could start Daniel Sturridge in this game. God knows he's been giving him opportunities. Um, um, and you know, again, you'd expect, is it a slightly slower pace because it's a European game that might suit Daniel Sturridge? You know, again, having the clinical finish, but I, I wonder. I'd like to see Solanke given that opportunity as the as the rotational guy, as it were. I mean, the he's not rotating because I want to keep him with Firmino. Again, I don't think it's necessarily a realistic thing, but and the Gomez thing at the back. If we've got a chance to put him in again, Clavin, why why? Clavin probably could have played at the weekend if he's good enough to be on, if he's good enough to be on the bench. Again, is that there for an opportunity for? He Gomez was warm. To step he up? was warming up when it looked like was it Chan was injured first half, so yeah. he wouldn't have been far away. Again, not a realistic thing, but again, something I would very much like to see. Right, let's have a look at what we think Jürgen's going to go with then the more sensible of the options, perhaps. What what significant what's a significant difference other than you finally put the centre halves in the right order? <laughs> put Coutinho back in and put Henderson in. Henderson? Mm. Why? Why do you think Klopp will go with Jordan Henderson in this game? Because he's the captain of his club. But I think he's, like you say, he's probably the biggest game of the season so far. And I think, I know it's a bit of a cliche, he's the captain. You need to have them, that person in your squad, mm -hmm. to either motivate other people or to leave people um, by your performance on the pitch. And I think it'll be a massive, massive game for him. Yeah. I mean, I've personally gone, I did a big thing about how you've got to have Salah and Mane if you're going in for it and then I've, I've done exactly what you said would you prefer Chris Salah is very much wrapped up I want him f full fit and mad for it to be totally unleashed on the ever the weekend and again I don't I, th I think I, I do actually think that Klopp will just take this in his stride oh, that's, my, pre that's the... my preferred 11 bar the keepers isn't it yeah. I think I think that's a I think Klopp will continue with the do actually think he will continue with a degree of rotation because I think he, he I think there's a good mentality to get into with the squad where he's telling them these have all got the same level of importance. There is no first eleven. 
you were all members of the first the first team, what have you. Um, interesting that you've gone with the go. You've gone with my thoughts on the back byline for for a couple of. You think he would start a, a goal at centre half? I, I think he would just because I think he's you know you can make the case about Clavin being more experienced, can't you? But at the end of the day, you know, like like Ross said, he can only say him one way, and he's a uh, you know I think. He, Having, having the legs there and a good footballer next to Lovren helps as well. Here's the, here's the thing, you can question the Gomez being next to Trent, but he's just played Wijnaldum and Chan as centre-halves in the last game at Lovren. So there's no point in questioning him. Klopp could do fucking anything if he wanted to, couldn't he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, good luck. No, good, no luck to, there, Chris, no. good luck to anyone <laughs> trying to pick the... Trying to pick the starting eleven for this one. <laughs> um, it's a nice position to be in, though, isn't it? Even pre- even preferred eleven, you, you stuck for choices all over the park. No, no. And, and let's, let's be honest, we joke about it, don't we, Chris? I think it's it's it doesn't make that that job easy. But then again, it's not like it matters. No, I'm not being funny, right? But if a fan could pick Jurgen Klopp's side every single week, Liverpool wouldn't be doing very well because the teams would be game planning for this. But, you but know this what I mean? The difference between a year ago, though, Chris, is that you, you know the habit, the thing you did was just pick, just pick last week's team, <laughs> yeah. and odds are you're going to be right because we didn't have the players to make these changes. This is we're in uncharted waters here. You know the, the fact that there are again, you could make a case, a strong case for Daniel Sturridge or Dom Solanke or Roberto Firmino to start this, to to to, to start this game. If any of them started this game, again. You would you shrug at worst. At the best, you'd be dead excited to see how they performed. Given that, similarly, Alex Oxlade Chamberlain, we're in a situation now where we can comfortably say one of Salah and Mane can can sit on the bench for this one, and Oxlade Chamberlain, you would trust him, you and you to 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 perform well, not just to perform well, but to probably get a goal or an assist mm. in this one because we've seen that kind of stuff from him. Boss, more of more of this. But it all the same. Good luck. I'll be fine. Yeah, I'm sure you'll be fine. All right, score predictions, Ross. What do you think it's going to be? Three nil. Okay, sound. We go three one Liverpool. Cool, Chris. Two nil Liverpool. Yeah, I'm feeling two nil. If I'm honest, I'd like I take a a goal right at the end of either half because that's what we're doing at the moment. Like around the thirty minute mark, maybe, and then the ninety. 90th minute, probably with a Salah coming on just to stretch his legs. <laughs> 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 just slots one in against the Yeah, that, that'll be sound by me. Okay, then let do you know me know. Do you know what's annoying, though, about Salah's goal scoring stuff? You know when you play footy manager and you've got that striker that you want to score because he's at the top of the scoring charts and he doesn't get a goal and you're really disappointed? That's what Salah's kind of been like, you know, at the weekend, just gone and stuff. I'm gutted when he doesn't score a goal now. I just want him to score. I just want him to get 35 or 40 goals. Mainly for people who've got him as the fancy footy captain as well. I think there's a lot there's a there's a lot of like across the board like oh come on mate come on but you know what as I said and then and John Harris on the far away and the left one don't get it in the right one or will or the middle one or the one just just left of centre or the one behind him as well or the centre back you know, or the centre back you've also just reminded me that we've got a fantasy league going on that I haven't checked for a few weeks so, yeah, <laughs> he's just reminded me too uh, yeah I wish I'd forgotten it because that would excuse the reason for me being bottom <laughs> of the table but Are you bottom? Yeah, yeah I'm ahead of you comfortably like I've not checked my side since the first week. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> that one's oh dear. Who's top? Is it you? Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> so, he switches his centre arms around. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Social media, Ross. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. well, yeah. Too much time on his laptop, isn't it? Yeah. Um, too much job. Yeah, to be fair, <laughs> to be fair, I took I, like, in midweek, and so this is how bad it is. I can have good players in mind, but there's no reason why. I took, I was like, I'll take Salad off, off captain. Because this is a week to gain some points. People will forget there's a midweek. The midweek changes, and he's not going to start in midweek. <laughs> and, uh, and then he comes <laughs> off the fucking bench and scores. The argument was sound. The logic was sound. The execution was flawed. Just trust Salah, and that's then just let the rest let the rest sort Who itself out. Who did you pick as your captain? Morata. Reasonable, reasonable pick. Nah. No, 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 no. Anyway, um, let's give us some captaincy picks uh, for below. <laughs> Salah, uh, Paul! Other than Salah. Uh, but no, but there's no points to be gained back. If everyone's got Salah as the captain, you're not going to gain, you're not going to claw points no, back. No, but you can lose them. No, of course. But you've, there's, Especially you've got if he just is the top scorer in the league and continues to be. But no, but you've got it. That's why you've got to be tactical with it. You will forever, the league will forever stay the same because the only way you can make big jumps is with, a, with, is with double captaincy points. 
I'm just gonna do, everyone else needs to not have Salah as the captain, basically. That's what needs to happen. Okay, ask them nicely. Yeah, just if you, if, if, I yeah, think he's fine. even my captain. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Leslie, you preferred, and Klopp 11s in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe to the Red Bed TV uh, for more. It is um, Derby Week as well, in and around this. We're going to be gearing up to that once this game is out of the way. So stay tuned to the Red Bed TV on Twitter, on Facebook, and on Instagram as well. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the game. We'll see you post match. Christmas merchandise out now. Click the annotation on the left hand side of the screen or the link in the description. Last Christmas, oh my word, have you seen this design? Could you imagine how many Evertonians you will piss off by wearing this at the dinner table on Christmas Day? Oh yes!